Hello, in this video we'll learn how to code sound on the TI Innovator Hub using either the TI-84 Plus CE or the TI Inspire CX family. Let's start on the TI-84 Plus CE. Press the program button, PRGM, right arrow twice over to new and select create new. Notice that the cursor has a block letter A so alpha lock is already on, we'll call our code sound. And then we'll press enter. You are now in the body of your code. Press the program button again, arrow over to input output. You can choose either number one input or number two prompt to gather the information from the user. Using catalog help, I can see the syntax for input and prompt. Input allows you to make your code much more robust where you can put the text within quotes to label your variable, whereas prompt you can just put the letters representing your variables one after the other. I will select number one, input. I need the quotes, so I'll press alpha plus sign to get the open quotes. And now I'm going to lock in alpha, second alpha. The first variable we need from the user is frequency. So I'm going to use the green letters above the keys to spell frequency. I'm going to close quotes, turn off alpha lock by pressing alpha once, use the comma, and the variable for frequency will be F. I'll press enter and I'm now to my second line of code. I'll go back to program, over to input output, select number one input again, lock in the alpha, second alpha, open quotes, and this variable will be time. Close quotes, Turn off alpha by pressing alpha once, comma, and my variable for time will be t. Press enter, and I'm now to my third line of code. On the TI Inspire technology, we'll select number one, new. We'll select number nine, add program editor, and select number one, new. We will call our code sound, and then we'll select OK. We are now in the body of our code. We will press menu, select number six for input output, and select number three, request. We need quotes to appear, so we'll press control multiplication, and we'll put in frequency. We'll right arrow to get outside the quotes. We'll put a comma after the quotes and put our variable f for frequency press enter to get to the next line of code we need to request the time so we'll press menu select number six for input output number three for request control multiplication to get the quotes time is the second variable right arrow to get outside the quotes comma T, press enter to go to the next line of code. Both of these programs will now collect the frequency and the time for the sound. We'll press program on the TI-84 plus CE. We'll arrow over to hub and we'll select number one, send set. We'll select number three, sound. And we now want to evaluate the frequency and the time that the user put in. The eval command can be found by pressing program, arrowing over to hub, and it's number six in the hub menu. Eval frequency, which we stored into the variable f, close parentheses, press alpha and then zero to insert a space, program, over to hub, number six eval, T for time, 
close parentheses, close quotes, alpha, plus sign, close the outermost parentheses. I want to point out that it is very important to put that space after the eval F before the eval T. Nine times out of ten, if you get an error message, it's because you forgot that space between the eval commands. On the TI Inspire, it works the same way. Press Menu, select number 8, Hub, select number 1, Send Set, and select Sound. We now need the eval commands. Menu, Hub, number 6, Eval, F, right arrow to get outside the parentheses, spacebar, menu, number 8, hub, number 6, eval, T for time, and you can press enter to finish that line of code. For the TI-84+, Plus, you can press the shortcut key, alpha, graph, and select number one, execute program. For the TI Inspire, we press menu, choose number two, check syntax and store, and you can check syntax and store, or you could run it right from here by selecting number three. So let's take it to the handheld and the innovator hub to see it in action. Your cord has an A end and a B end. The B end has a little black, the A end has a little white at the USB ports. The B end should go into the data B port first, and the A end will go into the side of the TI-84 plus CE. We'll see a little light turn on, that just means that it is currently connected. We press alpha graph and choose number one, execute program. Frequency, I'll put in something like 400, enter, time, I'll put in 4. If I want to hear it, the sound feature is on the back. When I press enter, let's press enter again. Let's change the frequency to 800, and let's make the time 5. For the TI Inspire technology, again, you have the A end and the B end. The B end goes into the B data port. A end goes into the top of the TI Inspire CX. The light will tell you that you have it connected. We'll press Control R to run. When I press Enter, I get my frequency text box. I'll put in 550, enter. For time, I'll put in three. And when I press enter, I hear the frequency 550 for three seconds. So the next logical step in our code, after we've made one note, is to string notes together to create music. I'll show you how to create music in the next video, Coding Music. I will demonstrate right now what it will turn out like. I like to use an amplifier, just so you can hear it a little bit nicer. Put the sound feature on the amplifier. Program. Wish. When you wish upon a star.